Well, he's adored, of course, by legions of goths for his fantastic run as the seductive bloodsucker Enzo in TV's Vampire Diaries. Anyone who saw him perform on the show last year will also testify that Michael's one hell of a rock and roller. Uh, last time he was here, it was celebrating the release of uh, debut album Mungles, and you've got an EP, I think, just come out, Captain Solitaire. That's right, yeah, it's a three Proof song. Proof musicians spend too much time playing on their own? Well, I suppose so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's some resounding themes of isolation and reflection, I guess. Um, but that's just that's just the life that we live. You know, I spend a lot of time in hotels, traveling a lot, and it gives you a lot of time to reflect. And um, I suppose it's, in a way, a little triptych on, on, on that theme. Now, I, I know that I think the first song you ever played was a Bob Dylan cover, if that's yeah. right. I've heard that, I haven't heard the track, I'm dying to hear it yet, Captain Solitaire, but I'm, I'm told Tom Waits is more of an influence this time. Is that right? Tom Waits has been my hero for many, many years. He's just such a groundbreaking artist. And what I love about him is his balance of the art, but with theatricality. Oh, yeah, I was you just know, say. he puts on the show. You know, it's Tom Waits, but to the nth degree. And, you know, I'm not interested in just being a hard on sleeve singer songwriter bleeding his diaries to the world, you know. Um, no puns intended there. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's inescapable. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Everywhere I go. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of interested with this new step in with Captain Solitaire and the new stuff in embracing that theatricality more and telling oh, other people's stories. We should have a little listen then. Now, here is a taster, uncomfortably numb, from that new EP. Well, this Pink Floyd, comfortably numb. Yeah. yeah well, that's actually from Mongrels. So, uh, Captain Solitaire is is is, is a different. Uh, that's not on that one. Right. Because we haven't yet got any. I don't think we've got any videos to show yet. For it's that. coming out soon. soon, and we didn't want to, you know, put it out beforehand. So, um, yeah, it's uh, the uncomfortably numb Pink Floyd thing. You know, uncomfortably numb. Some uh, chance to see you live, I believe. You're telling me there's a gig on Friday, which I'm not around for in London, which I'm gutted about. Anywhere else you're going to be going? Yes, we're playing O'Meara on Friday. Uh, then we play Whelan's in Dublin yeah. on Saturday, which is a great, great venue. And uh, Very Glasgow. sober venue, that one, Whelan's. You know, we'll be completely sober. Questions, questions. Dawn, something for you to kick us off. Well, it's a funny, quirky one. Have you ever thought of working with Johnny Depp? You know, because he's got the Hollywood vampires. He's, right, he's on tour at the moment with yeah. his band. Wouldn't that be kind of a bit of fun? I'd love to do a film with him. That'd be fun. Well, yeah, what is it? Is it actors, actor musicians? Isn't it? There's, is it? Mm. Is it that? Is it the? What? What is the appeal of going out on a road, on the road, on a tour bus with sweaty blokes, playing, <laughs> eating by and large rubbish food? From what my experience has been uh, travelling with bands, when you can be a cosseted actor sitting around a lovely green room, having people feeding you caviar all day long, I just don't understand it. Well, you are very misinformed about the life of actors. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I have never tasted caviar in my life. Um, uh, well, look, w when you're acting, you're often in some cold, wet field. I just finished filming in Vancouver for four months a show called Project Blue Book so for the History Channel about UFOs, the whole okay. Blue Book thing. And uh, we were slumming it out there, below sea level a lot of the time, freezing, you know, being in the sweaty van was actually much more... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's actually preferable. And, I, and I'm right in thinking the songs for, from the EP uh, mm. were written while you were filming with our Sean Bean doing a, a crime drama called Oath, is that right? The Oath, yeah, which I'm actually going back to film in Puerto Rico uh, in, Puerto in a, Rico? Week, a week or two, yeah, which is where we, we shot the first uh, season. And we were actually evacuated by, by, uh, by them uh, because of the hurricanes. So you'll be going back, because from what I hear, there's, it's still a, it's, it's not yet back on its feet. No, well, I, if it will ever be, you know, it's a mess. Um, and part of the reason why we're going back is to try to help out with, with the economy and, and oh, pay, pay the people, you. you know. I think that's part of the mission statement. Excellent, excellent.